Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Uh, I am here to do a four card spread for you that will cover the past, now, the future, and then also your final outcome. Now this will cover December 15th through the 31st, 2017. And I will be using the uh, Enchanted Map Cards from Colette Baron reed I really love these because since we are entering the last two weeks of December, this is allowing us a time to really pause, to really reflect, and really to get into, um, you know, just kind of that thinking of, Finding and, and, and writing down all of those wonderful things that you have accomplished this year, all the things that, uh, let's say, perhaps that you have learned, which are just, you know, are, are very valuable as you move into next year, any challenges that you have, it's just having you, it's just asking you to just kind of go through an overview and create some sort of map, so to speak, to give you some guiding um, and some guideposts to move on to that next year. So I'm hoping that this reading will resonate with you, especially these last two weeks within 2017, and really uplift you and, and give you that wisdom that you need to really jump off uh, the 2000, uh, you know, 18 um, with some really positive energy and some positive vibes and um, with the... Uh, with the uh, you know optimistic uh, kind of approach that uh, we know that you have within you to achieve the successes and dreams that you want to achieve. So with that, let's go ahead and get started for your reading, Cancer. And of course, if you like um, this and this does resonate with you, please be sure to note your comments below. I'm really getting to know a lot of my uh, subscribers. And um, of course, if this is your first time, thank you for coming. Um, and then if you, of course, like uh, the video, be sure to like uh, as well. And if you'd like a personal reading, please be sure to click, check the description box at theguidedintuitive.com. So let's get started with you, Cancer. So this card is in your past. And this is, how interesting, Bone Collector. I haven't even used this card yet. How interesting, Bone Collector. And that's what I like about these cards is because they usually have this interesting meaning, uh, meaning of this that you just wouldn't even know. Um, now, this is a, this is a very mature woman who has, has a few things that are around her that are of value to her. And we'll get into that a little bit more. What I do want to talk about is that this is a numerology number one. And so with this number one, what that talks about is being very uh, independent and very individualistic. Um, it's about showing leadership and drive and and being focused uh, and also very, pro, you know, progressive and strong willed and in a, a constructive way. Um, but what this really, really talks about is that it, it it's basically saying that you are whole cancer and have everything that you need within you. And that's why this woman has everything around her. She's got everything that she needs, and she's got this big smile on her face, and um, and, and she's incredibly happy with that. And 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 that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, and it's it's really talking about you know, hey, you know, if you look closely at your circumstances, um, you, do you see that you are really, uh, you know, reacting out of you know, past conditioning and, and, and unconscious expectations or not. And, and the reason why we, this is brought up is because it says that this is to remind us that, you know, as, as when, how do I want to say, especially when we're young, you know, whenever we're wounded, it's as if something, uh, you know, essential was really stolen from us and we adapt and we accept a particular version of a truth that sets us up to behave a certain way in the future. So when we're faced with a situation that might remind us of the original event, um, what we do is, is we, what is, we, we, we act out in a way that is about our past. And, and it, it's basically saying that, um, when we act out of the past, it, it's just reminding us of that that original event, and, and it's not who we are now today as adults. And even though that sometimes that 
we might react out of our past that way and we might feel unworthy and, uh, you know, without courage um, and, and see ourselves as being flawed or that type of thing. It says no matter what that is, this is reminding you that the truth that you are a powerful being um, with limitless possibilities is here. That your truth is inside you and that um, what she's done here is she's kept safe what was stolen from you when you were wounded as a young child. And uh, this is here for you to reclaim it now. So you have everything, Cancer, um, that you believe that you lack. And that's what this is saying. There's no need that when you're faced with a situation that reminds you of an original event as a childhood, you have the truth within you to react a different way and and that you are powerful and then you can act in your truth and because you have limitless possibilities. And in this mature woman, what it's basically saying here is that that she has kept everything here for you. She is actually, you know, keeping everything safe, what was stolen from you when you were wounded. And this is basically saying what was stolen from you, then you can reclaim it now. It's here for you to reclaim now. You have everything that you believe that you lack. And she is here to remind you that, 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 uh, that she's your inner resource. And it's saying to act as if you have what it is that you need and you'll, that you'll find that you'll have it after all. So just, you know, definitely do that. Anything is possible and um, act as if. It's kind of like when you, know, when you get into that mindset, when you act as if you have it, those the energies start building up to that vibration that attracts what you want. The, uh, you know, the, the feelings attract that of which you uh, want. So you, that's what's a big part of manifesting is, is, is a big part of is acting as if, but really feeling it, feeling it inside and in your energy. And this is basically saying that you have everything you lack, Cancer. Um, and, and, and that you, um, are a very powerful being and that you, uh, that you, if, the, if you act as if you, um, if, as if you have what you need, that you find that you have it after all. This is really interesting. Very, very interesting. Now this is your past position. You might have some reverberations going through into the, to the now card. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well. Um, let's take a look at that and see what that means for you. You know, we all go through different things when, you know, as, 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 you know, when we're younger and, uh, we're brought up different ways. Um, you know, sometimes it's not the perfect setup, uh, at times, you know, where it's, you know, it's a little bit different and, uh, there's some things that we have to, we, that even though that have maybe feared us back in the past, that we can stand in our truth and be powerful and know that we have what we need is inside us and we act as if that way and we become stronger. So this is saying that anything was possible and uh, within your awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. So that's beautiful. Um, we all can take some great uh, uh, feedback from that for sure. This card here moving into your now is very interesting. This is called the Magical Map Shifter. Now, I'm going to show this to you because Aquarius got this card as well. Um, and I think, oh, they, I think they got it in the past uh, position. This is in your now. And this is interesting because there's a lot of things. There's a, there's a man that's blindfold. There's a lot of things that's surrounding uh, him. And he needs to choose, you know, what is going to work best for him in his life. You know, there's a little oyster uh, to his right shoulder with a little pearl in there. And there's lots of things kind of flying around and it's up to him to choose who to, uh, what to bring into his life. So we'll get more into this in a minute, but this is a 52 card. And when we talk about 52, it's kind of like a, a five plus two is a seven card, right? So in numerology, the seven is, is really kind of a lucky number, you know, and I, and, and that's a beautiful thing. It's, it's very spiritual. It's very intelligent. Um, it's very persevering, but yet intuitive, knowledgeable, and contemplative. So keep those energies in mind as we get into the meaning of the card. Now, if we, um, if we take the number 52, just as it is on itself, that also talks about introspection as well. Um, and the 52 really 
talks about, and I do want to say it from a larger scale, is about getting issues resolved and overcoming obstacles instead of uh, remaining um, uh, kind of on a lower energy as a victim of some sort in this world. And uh, it's all about resolving things, seeing yourself as whole again. And then your world is going to start to fill in with color. Um, so I thought that's kind of interesting, you know, as it relates to this particular card. Now, the 52, this particular card is, 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 has a little bit of things. It's, it's basically saying that um, spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. So when this is upright, which is good, because then it talks about that this is really making you aware of the people that come into your life. And this is asking you and how these people or different people coming into your life impact your personal growth. Um, and it could be that, for instance, maybe you've met a, a soulmate and, you know, that um, whose presence maybe is really, um, you know, it's, it's, it's inviting. And, and that person uh, helps bring out the best person in which you can be. Um, or maybe it's someone, Cancer, who leads you out of a difficulty into a place of, of, of great safety and wonderful success. This card is just asking you, with all the choices out there, with all the choices that are coming through to you here, um, that come across your path, it's saying you to, uh, you know, it's it's asking you to, it's asking you to reflect on your journey and be awake and recognize for the people who come into your life, those ones that bring all that positivity, uh, those ones that uh, you know uplift you. Um, those are the change agents in your life. And your, your whole perspective about who you are and then why you're here is going to shift. And by having these people in your life showing you different perspectives about yourself and to help you become that best person that you can be, this card is saying um, it's initiating you to become a better version of yourself. Um you know, if this um, was in the the reverse position, it would be more of that you're in denial about the situation. You refuse to see, you know, truth, um, you know, and, um, and, and, and you're choosing maybe the wrong people that don't serve your highest good. But this is not. You're upright here. And it it's really talks about, um, about who you are and why you are here and then how that is going to be shifting for you. Um, so I think this is really interesting. And you'll have to let me know, Cancer, how this resonates to you. If you're going through some sort of change and bringing good people now into your life and noticing some differences, um, you know, and uh, really knowing that your life is really shifting. So, uh, you know, and, and recognizing those people that are coming across your, your path uh, that really help you uh, move into feeling uh, very safe. And, 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 you know, or helping you achieve success. Now let's move into your future and see what that is for you here. Spirit of place. Oh, how interesting. Spirit of place. Now place to me seems like your spirit within yourself. But this is spirit of place. We'll get into that in a minute. Now the actual uh, numerology for this is a number four. And the number four really talks about positive characteristics. Um, it's very, very down to earth, very dependable and reliable. So these are some of the energies there. Um, it's very strong, um, very, very stable and uh, very trustworthy and devoted. Um, Very, very interesting. And, and you know, it's um, very interesting. It's kind of like this is associated with um, the Emperor card in the tarot uh, as well. But what I like about this is, is that you're really moving into a, a different place right now. And this is what this is really wanting you to know. So let's say that, you know, that... Our ancestors, in which one of these cards kind of come from a little bit about, you know, uh, traditions and that type of things. It talks about your spirit within you. 
and you know how you how every you know, they've got spirit guides and, and you know you've got animal totems and things like that but your spirit guides and ancestors believe that in in every place has a spirit and that are, there's that's looking after it or embodying it and you know just like we as humans we we've, we've, we've got a soul and you know they we've got um animal spirits that have you know somehow guide us along our way and have uh some sort of symbolism for us but you know plants trees and and mountains and rivers also have their own essences and that's what this is pretty much saying um which i really really love um and what this one that wants to say is that when the spirit of place when this particular card is coming your way it says the answers to um you, that you might be have a struggle with a question and the answer to your question is the overarching theme of your circumstances. It's that the answer is to really relax and let go of your need to control the situation. So is there a relationship uh, that, you know, that you're, you're trying to push to find an answer for and um, kind of maybe, uh, you know, moving forward maybe too fast in something or just, you know, if you don't know the answer to something, whether it's a career, whether it's a relationship, uh, you know, whatever they, you know, whether in finances, um, if your inquiry relates to, you know, finding love, then embody that love rather than long for it. Um, that's what it's asking you to do. Um, if you want to be treated better at work, for, let's say, for instance, uh, treat others at work um, with the way exactly you want to be treated. Um, you know, it says once you find the essential truth that underlines your question and name it, that you'll discover and, 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 you know, the answer that you've been seeking and really, truly your greater power of anything is your authenticity. That's what it's basically saying is your greatest power is your own truth. And that, that lies within, you know, inside you, uh, within your place. And that's what this really wants to talk about. So what is your truth, uh, Cancer, in, in, you know, in terms of your question? Take a moment, you know, just take a deep breath in and then let it go as you let go of control of the situation. And uh, answers will actually come to you. And that's what this is basically saying. To find love, then embody love. Uh, to find kindness, embody kindness, that type of thing. So this is what, oh, I really love that. It's really a beautiful thing. Um, let's move on into your outcome and see what that holds for you here. Oh, interesting. All these cards are so interesting. This is called Mountain. And you're thinking, well, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Well, this is interesting. Um, when it comes to uh, the mountain, the, the funny thing to remember is that you always notice that you have the capacity to flow around any obstacle, right? And this is basically saying that this is the time for you to adapt. It wants you to adapt. And sometimes when you come across some sort of obstacle that like a huge mountain that separates you, you know, from, from like your success, you might think that, you know, climbing it or maybe chiseling away is the answer, right? But that is a very treacherous kind of a, a, a tedious approach. But it's saying, be like the rivers and flow around the mountains naturally. It says you'll move past this obstacle that you have and you'll do it quickly. And the way that you need to do this is, is, is to um, choose the easy way around. Go with the ease. Don't go how I want to say this. Go around the mountain versus walking up as, as, as this was this talked about. But instead of going upstream and paddling upstream, flow downstream. Go with the ease. Go with the, the easiest way to do something. Um, the reason it, it just it, it's so much easier. It's less stressful. But notice that if you do decide to climb, remember to take only one step at a time. You know, and, and, and um, you know, take the time to opt for that next action. One step at a time, opting, you know, for what that next, you know, action is going to be. Uh, but it really, really is seen. It's time to adapt to your circumstances. 
So is there something that you're not adapting to? Maybe you have moved to a new place and, and it's a little different for you and uh, you're trying to, you know, make it as comfortable as your other place, um, but it's not working. And this is just saying, you know, take a moment and relax you know, let it, let it just get, get into a little bit more of the ease and get to know, you know, where you're at, the little nuances and, and let that, that, uh, let, allow it some space so it could fill in with that that is missing and, and to do it with ease rather than trying to force things and, and to, uh, quickly, uh, get to that state that you, maybe you were at before at your old place. So that's just an example, you know, it's just, you know, it's just basically saying is that things you don't always have to push and find the hardest way to do things or the most obvious. Stop for a moment and think, well, how can I this be easy for myself? And then that's a route that this is asking you to consider, um, you know, to go down that path. So if you come across an obstacle, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be in a career, Take the path of least resistance. And that's what this is reminding you to do. So there you have it. I hope that this resonated with you, Cancer, in some way, shape, or form. Um, and if so, please do so comment in the, in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I can't wait to start 2018. And I look forward to seeing you then. And until that point, Amaste.